Uh, you can see a little bit of people moving behind, people going in and out. We're here in this small cage next to the entrance of the pool. You ready here? So we can see we have more contact to the power league than in the past Champions Cup. We were pulled Six away the back corner of the pool. So let's see. It's a pity we cannot speak Turkish. Maybe for the next Champions Cup. This is a project one year. Okay, the game started and I don't think people want to see me any longer. It's enough that they have to listen to me. So it would be great if we can see the... Uh, White team is only we have players. to see the game. We like to see the game. Technicians. We like to see the um, bottom of the pool. There's no one there paying attention to the camera. Who can change the camera? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's not much I can do. They left me all alone here. Okay, here we can see the... Uh, okay, still the wrong camera. We like to see underneath, not uh, on above, but much better than me. So... A ver, chicos, ¿qué pasa? Que no nos están poniendo al juego. Estamos viendo los referees y el, los cambios pero no podemos ver el partido, no sé si hay algún problema eh, I mean the technicians are aware that we cannot see the bottom pool and they're working on that and Sorry, I was just talking to the technician. They're trying to. I don't know what uh, what happened, but uh, we are aware that we can't see the game. Sabemos que no podemos ver. Sí, sí, ya sé que la cámara está equivocada y están están trabajando en eso. Vamos a ver. Por lo menos desde aquí lo que podemos ver es que las chicas de Orca están atacando a las chicas de Ismir. Por lo menos están en la mitad uh, del equipo blanco. Ismir está jugando de color blanco y las chicas de orcas en azul vamos a ver siete minutos restantes del primer tiempo y eh, a ver qué pasó blue free draw holding Tiro libre para el equipo de Orcas, porque aparentemente fueron agarradas sin balón por el equipo blanco. Free throw for the blue team, apparently. Um, yeah, there was a holding from the white team. And uh, we have now a counter attack, uh, or all of the Orcas are changing at the same time. We have four players coming. Okay. Um, that's normally something you should avoid to have um, all of them change at a time, but it th doesn't look that it really is an issue. Uh, let's see. I still don't have. Uh ah, okay. What? Okay. Estamos finalmente con la cámara donde debe estar. Let's see. One of the players of the Orcas had uh, stole the baskets and the ball is in the surface. Let's see. And wow, that defender intercepted the pass. That was great. And uh, Orcas recovered the ball, so 
Um, they're coming. Let's see. They're trying to build up the wave, the pressure. They 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 block the goalkeeper again, and now they score. And the number six of Colombia, following the list, I have Daniela Sanchez. Acaba de hacer un gol para Orcas. Luego de cinco minutos ha empezado el partido. Um, Blue goal number las chicas, six. Uh, de Time out. Blue time out. Um, okay, el equipo de Orcas acaba time de pedir out, un time out. Eh, interesante. A ver si Fede, como no hemos, nos hemos perdido tres minutos del partido, la verdad no sabemos cómo estuvieron jugando antes y no sabemos si qué, Fede, qué quiere hacer Fede, que por ahí cambien. Eh, las chicas de Izmir han mostrado siempre eh, una defensa, un bloqueo un, muy bueno, entonces quizás le han estado impidiendo mucho eh, de crear el, la, la ola de ataque. Eh, yeah, como lo han hecho en otros go. juegos entonces bueno so vamos a ver ahora no. qué pasa en los próximos minutos ahí vemos como Federico se aleja está hablando con ellas ok, let's see 14 seconds of the time out 10 10 seconds All right, so let's see. We continue. Now, Isme has the ball, and we are now seeing that uh, they lost it, and the Orcas is in a counter attack. Come one against that. The goalkeeper has the shoulder inside, almost in the bottom of the basket. That would have been a penalty for me, for, for, for the angle I'm seeing it at least. Um, they. The neck. This goalkeeper has the shoulder as well inside. Let's see what they say. Holding. Holding. All right. They need to pay more attention, not to really uh, slip into the the basket. I mean, they are quite uh, skinny, the girls, and uh, it's easy to to fall inside the the hole. But um, rather than that, they are really putting up a a fight and it's not uh, easy for orcas to do their game so right now we have uh, the one player of Ismir just alone there in the corner and the orcas are really really strong in for checking now it's two of them coming toward the goalie and uh, the for checking of orcas is uh, really strong so the Ismir are still in possession of the ball but cannot really build up a uh, pressure to uh, have an attack and Orcas recovered and is trying to swim a counter attack it's three of them they just post the ball and they're coming toward the goal they stole the basket it's something one of the techniques they do Claudia is on top of the basket and she got the ball and now um, she would tackle away uh, but they're still keeping the ball another Orca is on the basket uh, holding uh, blocking the goalkeeper but uh, the Ismir girls recovered the ball and they're doing a great job defending. La señal no está buena. Okay. Uh, apparently the signal is coming through a bit cut. Uh, they are saying here in Colombia. Um, Eh, sí, están siguen teniendo problemas con la señal en Colombia. Let's see, eh, están viendo. Sí, eh, estamos viendo de arreglar eso. Por ahora, entonces voy a tratar de describir lo que más pueda. Estamos la, con las chicas de Orca en la superficie peleando por el balón, pero creo que las chicas de Ismir la han recuperado y están en media cancha tratando de avanzar con un pase. Pero las chicas de Orca lo están interceptando y están tratando de bloquear el ataque de las chicas de Ismir. O sea que están a unos 4 o 5 metros de la portería. Recién tratando de llegar, intentando atacar por el lado mm, cerrado. 
Eh, pero la verdad que se le está haciendo difícil porque las chicas de Orca realmente interceptan o tratan de interceptar y de bloquear cada pase que el equipo de Izmir intenta hacer. Now, uh, Orca has recovered the ball and is um, okay. En Argentina también. <laughs> okay. Uh, we have now. Um, We are on the half of the Izmir team and Orca is attacking from above, trying to pull the goalie away and uh, the Izmir team is doing a great job defending. It's not easy for Orcas to uh, score. They are attacking, but they've been always tackled away and now Izmir recovered the ball, pass it to the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper has been um, tacked away by one of the Orcas and Now they're in the surface fighting, but we have the goalie and the defender into position, waiting um, to see if they can recover the ball. I can't see, they're on almost at the, Orcas recovered and it's now coming two blue against two whites from above and they've been tackled away uh, by one or two of the Ismir players. Okay, let's see. White free throw. Bueno, tiro libre para el equipo de Izmir. Vamos a ir cambiando un poquito entre inglés y, eh, y español para poder... Eh. Bueno, acaba de terminar el primer tiempo. Eh, el equipo de Orcas está dominando el ataque, pero las chicas de Izmir realmente están haciendo una defensa extraordinaria. Entonces, eh, es 1 a 0, va ganando Orcas. Es el equipo que el equipo está predominando, pero eh, no se pueden relajar, tienen que seguir eh, muy con and keep on with the pressure they have been doing in the first half, uh, but without a rest, but really focused because the Turkish girls know pretty much what they are doing, and um, if the orcas don't pay attention, Ismir can't score. Uh, they fight a lot, they are tackling away all the attack of Orcas. Orcas play the ball very open and very fluent and Ismi um, play a bit different. They tackle away, they grab the ball, they have been pulling away most of the attack of Orcas. So Orcas need to concentrate and move, moving the ball uh, maybe faster uh, so that they cannot be tangled away. They cannot take too long uh, for the attack to the goalie, they need to move the, the ball maybe faster. So let's see, it, it still everything is open, even though Orcas is the stronger team right now, Esmir is not really a lot behind, and it's all about concentration, all about mental strength, all about condition, and being focused in the game. So let's see if we can uh, recover from the uh, transmission. But it has, it's really a great, um, a great game to watch. So, let's see. Mm. Ready here? Okay, here we go, the second half and Orcas got the ball and is trying to go on the, over the right side to cross to the half of the Izmir girls and now here we are, have one position underneath the goalie, got the pass and uh, lose, lost the ball in the process of trying to attack and there's been um, something, has been pointed to one of the girls, rough game. White free throw. Uh, using elbows. Yeah, she was using White the people. elbow apparently. So because of that, this is dangerous game, and uh, because of Blue that, they got now a free throw against. Let's see if the Turkish girl can take advantage of that. Look at that. Uh, Orgas tried to block. We see they have three around the one Turkish girl. I mean, they need to also to move the ball faster if they want to even get closer to the Orgas. Uh,
goalkeeper because the orcas don't forgive. I mean, um, if the ball is not moving, if you are not moving, they are around you. You need to move fast, you need to pass, 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 pass the ball and move, move non stop with and without the ball. Let's see. Um, está, está un poquito mejor la señal. Uh, parece que. Let's see. Well, Orcas recovered the ball and is counter attacking. And um, now we are under the goalie of the Turkish team of the Izmir. Let's see. But the girls are doing a great job defending. I mean, uh, Orcas are really into the tactic of stealing the uh, basket constantly. So if the goalkeeper is not there on time, you have a blue uh, blocker on top of the... <laughs> now we have there... Kushlin. <laughs> In, in a, I don't know how you say crucial in English. Uh, snuggling, 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 snuggling. Snuggling. snuggling with the goalkeeper. So okay, I'm back again. Ahead. Sorry, I've been away a little while. I had uh, other things while. to talk about. Sorry, sorry, sorry. To leave you alone, Lorraine. So, um, how can you there? Okay. Uh, um, I'm a little bit surprised to see. I haven't seen anything of the game uh, yet, uh, but a little bit surprised. It's the second half, isn't it? This is the second half, yep. And, and it's only 1 uh, zero, so uh, well done by the uh, Izmir team, I guess. Um, Yorkas are uh, in the ball possession and going uh, <coughs> over uh, very high, like we talked, Lorena. They go in very high to the goalkeeper and try now to break through the defense. But uh, it looks like the Esmir defense, what we've seen before of them, they are really awake in defending and keeping an eye on the attacks, especially with their uh, um, four checking. And now the the Orca girl tries to come from above and this is uh, uh, rough playing it was uh, strangling so it should be a free throw attack on uh, the neck yeah attack on the neck strangling Two free throw free throw meters, against please. free throw against Turkey and one of the Orcas stole the basket again and now there should be a, a, a fast attack and all alone there should be a second one that that's th th that was well planned, but there should be two attacking now. And uh, Izmir did the right thing, just stopping the ball carrier. And the ball carrier didn't have a, another position to pass to, to circumvent the defenders. So it didn't work, didn't work out. Well done by Izmir, nice attack, but not very well uh, executed. And now Izmir is uh, taking the offense yeah. and trying to get through into the half of uh, the Orcas. I miss when you were talking with Targan and he was maybe telling about a bit about the, the Stein, the girls play, the tactic, or what were you talking about? Well, a little bit out of, of the history um, ah, okay. and that the uh, Levant uh, founded most of the underwater rugby in Turkey. So, call from the referee again. Holding, wide free throw. Holding, free throw for the white, o sea, por aparentemente por retención de jugadora sin pelota, tiene un tiro libre el equipo de Turquía. And, um, a ver, ¿y ahora qué pasó? Hold the two meters, wide free throw. Te van a repetir el tiro libre porque no respetaron la distancia de dos metros que hay que tener hasta el que ejecute. You have to de keep nuevo. two meters of distance from the executing ball carrier. Y el que ejecuta el tiro libre tiene tres segundos. Wrong free throw. So no, if you throw. if you move while uh, executing the free throw, uh, it will be given to the other team. Probably that's what happened here. And Orcas are uh, switching into that. What uh, what a free throw is, uh, what is meant to be to execute it fast and to go uh, yep. without uh, even thinking. When instant on another, you should go into the offense and use the time uh, the other team needs to restructure in the free throw uh, free throw situation. But nevertheless, uh, it seems to be difficult for uh, for the Orcas to go through, and uh, I'm surprised they they don't use their their um, swimming force to to go in. Again, the ball was uh, stolen away by a Turkish player, and it's four minutes left here in the second half of Orcas from Colombia in blue against. Uh, 
the Izmir team, Turkey in white. This is Champions Cup 2017 and it's Champions Cup 29 altogether here in Berlin. And Again. They, they are, yeah, they're still in the basket constantly. The goalkeeper needs to be very, very attentive. And they almost score again. That's a pity. I mean, the, the Turkish girl made a great job there. But now it's two again. They're pushing. It is. And now we have uh, a score. I don't know who did the, the score. Uh, let's see. Bruco, player number 10. Play number 10 from Colombia, that's Liliana, Lilo. <laughs> Ahí tiene Benjamín, deje de tomar café. Que le va. <laughs> you uh, you uh, will uh, um, see Lilo with her fins, she has the stars on her fins, doesn't she? I think she's uh, the one with the stars. They have a lot of uh, stars Stickers, and hearts. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Well, um, Ismir is attacking is, and yeah, is in the, the corner the of the they, they Orca cannot, half. They, they can't successfully build up pressure. I mean, they're great defending. They're great snatching the ball and defending and moving away. But uh, Orcas has been really, really uh, good at keeping them away. Well, now there's one or there was at least one of the players with the goal right underneath the goalie, but it's been tackled away by two Orcas. So, uh, it's really, really difficult for the Turkish girls to get close enough to be really uh, dangerous uh, for Colombia. Call from the referee holding without holding ball, without free ball. throw this against Orcas. It seems holding. to be a very repetitive uh, fall from the Orca team. This is at least the, the tenth uh, free throw because of holding. So let's see. <coughs> Which is not a dangerous hold at all. I mean, I d what it was. Uh, let's see, they're counter-attacking, and uh, look, all the girls of Turkey are in position. The goalie, the defender, the blocker, and they're trying really hard to get that ball and keep Orcas away. And um, the next Orca is coming towards the defender. We have two more waiting there, and let's see what happened. I think it's again holding because the please, Orca, please. the Orca girl that was stealing White the basket, row. when they do that, pushing on the goalkeeper, a lot, of yeah, many times they push the goalkeeper without the ball, and that's uh, a fault. So now we have a free throw for the Turkish team, but it's one minute left. 2-0 for Orcas. I don't see here a possibility for Turkey to turn this game around. So um, they have delivered really a great fight. Uh, and they have really disrupted the, the attack and the game of Orcas. And uh, but they almost could not build up successfully a waves of attack. masculino va a estar jugando a las cuatro y media de la tarde contra Molde. Ah. Just one. Pick one. Okay. Uh, 